Hello, this is Tim from Animation the Frog, and we're going to pick up where we left off, and we're going to UV unwrap this guy's head, Hector's head, and then arrange the arrange that so it work, looks nice, okay? So, what we got to do first is we got to come down here, grow this a little bit, turn this into a, oh no, that's the wrong one, this one, into a UV slash image editor, this one we're going to put back in 3D view. Right click to select texture set here. Now we have to go into uh, edit mode. So go to edit mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit U. For unwrap. So you smart UV project. I'm just going to turn this up to like, uh, yeah. See how that goes. Ta da! Now here is all this stuff flat. Now here's the annoying part, okay? But it's okay that it's annoying because if it was easy, anybody could do it. So we're gonna zoom around here a little bit. Now, a lot of this we don't need because, like I've said before, the Eldraw models aren't exactly um, friendly for Blender. So there's a lot of extra geometry that's included here. We could probably delete if we wanted to. But I'm not going to delete it right now. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to move a bunch of this stuff off the the square here. It's a little tricky to figure out what is what. So I'm going to hit this button right here. It says keep UV and edit mode mesh selection in sync. So now when I click, I'll do a face select. Like here, for example, it says, okay, well this piece is right there. So if I click this piece, it says I can't see it. So I'm going to go into wireframe mode. Oh, that's the inside top. So I don't need that. So I'm just going to hit B for box select, just like all this stuff. Hit G to grab it. Just slide it off the side. Okay, I don't need that. What is this? That's the top. Okay, I need that. What is this? It's the inside. These look like they're all inside. So we don't need any of those. We're not going to see them. Slide those guys off. Looks like. Don't need these either. Okay, what are these? These are the top. And these are the top, okay? So we're gonna deal with those later. These are the bottoms. And where does this guy go? This is the very bottom. So I don't want to keep that. Nah, I don't think I usually keep that. What is this? Bottom of that, okay. So I think we don't need this one, so I'm going to hit Alt, in case you don't know, if you hit Alt, click, it selects the uh, radius, Let's put that over here, we don't need that, alright, so let's see, this guy is right here, going around, alright, just making sure all the pieces are oops, in order, I don't like that, that piece is not in order. He's not in order either. So it goes from here to here. So what I need to do is I'm going to go out of that, hit A. So what's going on here is that in in this area here, only what's selected here shows. So if I want everything to show, I gotta go up here, hit A twice to select everything. I'm gonna got island select here. Selected. This so says Island. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this, grab this, hit G. And then X. I'm going to slide it over. I'm going to select this one, hit R, and then type 180. So it flips it. I hit G and just link it up here. We'll link it up nicely later. Bring this guy back on. Okay. So now let's go back into this special view here. Click this guy, and then we should just move right around. And we do. Alright. So, I'm going to zoom in here. Line these up real good. I'm going to go back to Island Select. Hit A twice. I just want to line these guys up real good. That way, when I'm texturing them later in Inkscape or whatever you want to use, GIMP works too. Photoshop, Illustrator that everything works nicely. Okay, 
So now I'm going to grab these. I'm going to hit S. I'm going to scale it down. It has to fit on this little square. Hit G and X to move it sideways. It has to fit on this little square, otherwise it's not going to work out. Alright, that's good. It's the main part of the head. Now. Got to, just got to do the last parts. This is, uh, let me go back to this view here. This is the top. It's also the top. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all these guys here. This pie shaped thing. I'm going to throw it in the middle right here. I'll line it up better in a second. Alright. What I usually do is I take all these guys, all these faces, I move them over here. I'm going to take. Oh, B to select. Oh, I don't want to do that. A deselect, B border select, G to grab, move those down. Um, can't do that. A to deselect, B uh, to border select. Let's see this. Uh, that didn't work. Try again. Alright, and then G to grab, move all those eyes down. A to deselect, B again, G to grab. Move these guys over. Alright. Now. A to D select. G to grab. Alright. G no, B to grab. Excuse me. No, B to B to select. Excuse me. Can't speak this morning. G to grab, which moves over. So this is the top. This is the bottom. I'm gonna zoom in here. Line this guy up. Let's see if I can box select these guys. Ah, okay. Shift right click to select. Do, 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 do. Alright, G. Ah, that looks good. Okay. Now we gotta do these. I'm just gonna turn everybody sideways. I'm gonna just hit B for box select. Just grab everybody. Hit R and 90. There we go. To move everybody down. Mm -hmm. Now let's figure this out. So it starts here and it goes here and it goes here and then where does it go next? Oh, it's not the right place. Let's go here. No, it's not the right place to do. Let's go here. Or here. It's here. Let's turn this guy around so we can see. Alright. I'm going to hit Z to get out of wireframe mode. We're going back to uh, a solid. Okay, so we're there, and now we're gonna. Okay, but we're here. Now we're here. I'm gonna do this the other way. I want to select this guy. Uh. Alright, so these two go together. So I'm gonna hit B to select all these guys. G, move it up here. So those are together now. It's Put this one it's over here. So we move it all the way around. Let's click this guy up here so we can find out where he is. Oh, there he is. B to box select, G to grab, throw that up here. And then let's flip this guy. And this guy. Okay. B to grab the stuff. G, no, B to select, G to grab. There we go. We'll line those up nicely in a minute. Let's come down here to the bottom. This one. Now this one. For some reason, it goes to that one. I haven't been able to figure this out why it works like this, but it does. So we're going to rotate this 180 degrees. Hit R and 180. Hit G to grab. Throw that up here. And we're going backwards, but we'll fix it later. Alright, so this guy, B to select, G to grab, meh. Alright, now this guy, this with this guy, imagine that. Alright, so let's hit B and select all these guys. Now let's uh, hit A. Let's hit B again, select all these guys. G to move them up. Okay, now A to deselect, B to select, G to grab, 
We gotta rotate these 180 degrees, hit R, 180. Now we're going the right way. So we move right on this way, it goes right this way. So I'm gonna go out of sync to view here and hit Island Select, A to select, deselect, A to select all. And let's line up these guys here. Line them up. Now these guys. I'm just hitting G here to move them. I don't feel like it's quite there yet. There we go. Only a little bit of a perfectionist. We shift select. Alright, let's look at these. Ah, look at these again. So that's the head. Um, to export it, you just go down to UVs. So to export UV layout. It's gonna go out as a PNG because that's good. Now one thing you want to do is you want to say fill opacity is uh, zero. Otherwise, it will have a background color. But nice thing about PNGs is that they can support um, transparency. That's why we have PNGs here. Oh, you can do SVG. I didn't know that. Anyway, I'm just gonna say, uh, "Come on, Work with me here." Hector head head UV. And I'm going to go ahead and where do I put it? Ah, let's go ahead and put it in um the old same place. Um, uh, export UV there. Ta-da! There we go.